And welcome back, one and all, to another episode of Enemy Announced. Let's play Super Metroid Remix. All right, when we last left off, we were just collecting, collecting bullshit, and uh, preparing for some, uh, some epic battles ahead. So, uh, without further ado, let's get, let's get this boss going. Let's, uh, let's do that. All right. Okay. So, first things first. Before we go through there. Let's get that equipped. Oh yeah. Nice beam. Okay. Alright. So, uh... Yeah. Now we have a boss fight. And, uh, if you hear something in the background, train going by. So, uh, yeah. If you hear something that sounds like a train, it probably is one. So, uh... Bad timing on my part, but, you know, you do what you can. So anyway, um... This boss is fairly simple. Fairly straightforward, you just shoot him in the face. It's the only place you can do damage, he'll come out of one of these four holes, and he'll shoot acid and just kind of run around, and he gets really fast, so his attack current starts to get kind of hard to decipher there, but that's, but I, he's not too bad. And with the ice beam, yeah, now look at him, hauling ass. Um, with the ice beam, he's pretty, pretty quick. So, uh, okay. Throw me for a loop? Yeah! Fuck you, yes. Oh, wow, I didn't know you could still get hurt. Um, okay, so that's that boss fight. Let's go ahead and then unequip our ice beam now. Alright. And proceed on. So yeah, that was just a, a little sub-boss, boss wound, bot wound. Bot wound. Okay, so, first things first, we're gonna just charge through there. And now, um... Now there's, I don't know if you caught it, but there's actually an energy tank in this, in this area. So we're gonna go, go ahead and get that. Pretty easy to get. Just gotta kinda, oh, son of a bit. I forgot. Okay, yeah, I, I forgot. That's not the way you, nope, don't, don't fall on this, no! Ah, <laughs> uh, draws and tribulation. Okay, so, um, so yeah, that's what happens when you fall in sand. So, shit, I hope this doesn't... Okay, this doesn't take me too far back. Small setback, small setback. We will, uh, we'll be back to where we were. Um, yeah, I forgot. It's the other side that you have to get that energy tank from, so... No worries, we're only, like, two rooms away now. So let's just get back there real quick, get the energy tank, and then, uh, just plow through this area. Um, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna... Whoops. I'm gonna try to fit in the next boss fight. Um, for the people who know about the boss fight, there's a, um, a, a kind of like a secret way to beat him really easily, and I'm not going to be doing it that way. I'm going to be doing it the legitimate way by just showering him with missiles over and over again. So, um, yeah, if you want to see the, his name is Dragon, and if you want to see the, the super special and secret way to beat him, then, well, do what I always tell you to do, which is go look it up. There we go. Yeah, that energy tank's not too easy to get without um, a special power-up if, if you're not good at doing the, uh, the, the ball jumping, the jump and balling. I don't know what that's called, but whatever. It's called something, I'm sure. I'm sure of it. Okay, so now we can go through here. And, you know, we're back to full life, pretty much, and as you can see, we only have three tanks to go. One of which is the back door to this place, there, so... That'll be easy enough to get. The last two, um, are in the last area of the game. But, okay, that's not true. Not the last area of the game. Um, like the second to last area of the game. So, in this room, we basically just have a bunch of mob troids running around. Um, and then... Sand is super annoying, and uh, just yeah, these things that we are gonna just jump over. And then at the end of this room, we'll have two sets of doors. You'll see them. Um, one's basically just a save room and a recharge station, which we're not gonna use. We're not gonna need it. So yeah, up there. So we're just gonna take this one and proceed through. But before we go to the boss. Let's go ahead and do it this way. Um, there's, uh, there's an item in here, so I'm gonna grab that real quick. Yeah, right there. So 
we get another missile pack. Always good. Always good. Let's go ahead and uh, wait for this thing to show back up. Come on. Is it going to show up? Okay, it might not show up. Well, anyway, I was going to, to save it, but uh, yeah, the spikes in this room, they're fake. So, as you can tell, whoop, and you go right down here, and you pump a super missile into this guy, and we should be good for the time on this. Um, this is another boss that I believe is weak to ice beam, so we'll equip that just in case we need to, because I might run out of missiles. Okay, first things first in this room. Uh, the boss takes a second to, like, get ready, so while he's doing that, um, get rid of all of these. Trust me, that'll save you some time, or not some time, some life. Save you some grief. So, get rid of those, and yeah, these guys are coming through, and the boss will show up and scare the bejesus out of you like he always does. So, just, I guess, wait for him. Uh, it's good to have your diagonal up macro to something if you're playing this on an emulator. Uh, it's really useful in this fight. So, where are you? Where are you? Whoa, Jesus Christ, see, what did I tell you? He always does that. So, his yellow stomach is where the magic happens. So, just go ahead and uh, pump him full of missiles there. Uh, kneeling down and shooting missiles is definitely the way to go. Um, I'll do the sweep. He's doing a lot. Ah, bastard. Son of a bitch. Usually he doesn't do it this much. Okay, okay, this is what I was waiting for. So, yeah, he'll, like, do this, and then you can kind of just... Oh, shit. Okay, so, I mean, this is just, I don't know, mash all your buttons like a madman, and it'll let you go. And, yeah, so basically that's him in a nutshell, is he just does this stuff, and then... If he picks you up, just thrash around. He's not too bad. Um, unless, of course, you're absolutely mad and you're doing this without a grab suit. And also, he starts to get slower as he dies, which is kind of unique for this boss. Because a lot of bosses will start going faster and faster. This guy goes faster and faster and then slower. So, also, side note, power bombs will get rid of all that sticky shit that he shoots all at once, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. He's not really doing a whole lot to me. Oh uh, yeah, there we go, that's what I was looking for. Okay, and he's done. Wow, that, that was a really fast boss fight. That went way quicker than I thought. So, and then these guys, you know, they come and they collect their mother or whatever. Yeah, Samus is a murderer or whatever. So anyway, that's a dragon. And for beating dragon... We get, uh, I don't even know what to mock that as, I, it just, I can't tell. Anyway, it's a space jump. It looks kind of like, oh, what were the, help me out, guys, uh, the, the, like, the two bouncy balls on a string yo-yo thing people used to play with, I don't know. Anyway, so what this does is allows us to jump multiple times in midair. Believe it or not, I actually don't like this thing all that much. So I'm going to take it off for now. We'll use it later. But I prefer wall jumping and just regular jumping for the meantime. It's faster, and that sound that it makes when you're using it will, will kind of get on my nerves. And since this is my goddamn LP, I decide what happens. God, God damn it. Okay. So anyway, let's take off the uh, ice beam. We didn't even need it. Imagine that. So, alright, so now, whoops, we have a couple of things to pick up here. Um, I didn't show it off, but there's actually, there was a steel door, one of those impassable ones, uh, somewhere else in this area, and uh, you can't open it unless you beat the boss. So once you beat the boss, that steel door becomes uh, a blinking door, and you can go through it. And we get something very good in there, so we're gonna go ahead and head that way after I get fucking tagged by the goddamn piece of shit Metroid Montroids. There you go. Eat, eat shit and die, motherfuckers. Uh, See, so yeah, anyway, um, as I put, no one, I'm pretty sure no one read it, but, uh, I put a bulletin on my little page that said that, um, I'm working early shifts. Oh, we also can go this way. Um, I'm working early shifts at work, 
for today and tomorrow. So, um, updates will not be, like, early afternoon as they have been happening, and instead will be, um, in the later evening. So, just keep that in mind. Yeah, you're supposed to use the space jump out here, but I really don't care about using it. I mean, what is what are spikes when you have the suit upgrades and all these energy tanks? I mean, it really doesn't hurt you much anymore. Um, so yeah, so okay, so let's uh, keep heading on. I'm trying to remember where this actually leads to. I can't rightfully remember. Okay, out here. Now I'm gonna have to figure out my way back to the room I'm thinking of. Oh, actually, it's right here, isn't it? Sweet. Okay. So that makes life easy. It's because we're already in the area we need to be in. And yeah. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think uh, Meridia is your favorite area? It's definitely my favorite area. I just love the... The music and the ambience. Anyway, here's the blinking door I'm talking about. Yeah, there's something in here that's pretty badass. Well, okay, not in here, but in a couple of rooms. Um, yeah, there's this area. There's two more areas that I, we haven't been to yet. And they're both pretty cool. I'd actually say the next one's really cool as well. And the last one's not so... Not so great in my opinion, but eh, it's it's the last area. You gotta give it credit for being there. Okay, note how many shots it took to take care of those. Keep track. And then remember, these guys? Yeah, we can't kill them with anything. So anyway, we're gonna get this goofyosaurus looking guy, and we get the plasma beam. So yeah, this beam fucking destroys. I mean, it might not look like much, but look at that. Okay, we can hurt these. That's the first thing we'll notice. Is that, you know, not even super missiles can hurt these. Well, fuck that. This shit can. So, okay, so call these. Actually, okay. After I kill this guy, I'll throw my... Where the fuck did he go? That's what I want. Oh, God, he's glitching. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, actually, we'll turn on Space Jump for just a moment, because it's a pain to get into this room otherwise. Okay, so let's turn that back off. I know you're probably thinking, oh, you're being such a stubborn ass. Also, notice you can't have Spazer on when Plasma's on. Um, Space Jump, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, remember how I said note how many it takes to kill this guy? Now watch this. Boom! Shit yeah, son. Fuck him. This beam's kind of a bit a bit overpowered, though. It, it kills just about anything in one hit. Except the stuff in the uh, next area. And then the stuff in the final area, also. Um, well, those need... Those enemies need special treatment. Everyone probably knows what I'm talking about, but oh well, for the people who don't. Okay, so we go down here and we get this weird, like, little tube, vacuum tube elevator, and it leads back to near the beginning. Um, let's see, yeah, this area. Um, so yeah, there's, like, more stuff back that way, and there's more power-ups and all this other shit, but I'm gonna be honest, I told you guys it wasn't gonna be at 100%, I told you I'd get most of this, well, I mean, oh my god, I just wanna get out of this room before I have to, oh my god, okay, so yeah, underwater sand jumping, okay, I didn't even jump that time, fuck you, okay. Oh my god, I don't want to end the OP in this area. Oh my god, I might have to. And stop hitting me, you piece of shit. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna just try to get to the end of this one. The end of this one. Okay, yes. Um, so when we come back, we're actually gonna just leave this area and start heading off to the next area. Maybe grab a couple of power-ups on the way. Um, I've been Enemy Unknown, this is Let's Play Super Metroid Remix, thanks for watching. <laughs>